The search continues to find the best fish and chip takeaway. And yes, I'm at Finley's Mega Chippy. One thing that most fish and chip shops will be jealous of is the size of the car park. That chicken looks like a fucking roadkill. Okay guys, I thought when I hit 10K followers, I'll do a little trip to Billy's Mega Chippy as a, as a celebration as such. Um, so thanks for everyone who followed and who's commented and liked the videos. We are at Billy's Mega Chippies. To be honest, every, every single time I get a suggestion in my comments of where to go and try fish and chips, I always look at the menu like every single suggestion i always look at the menu and i'm always drooling over how nice the menu looks and so many so many of the fish and chips that i see on there look so nice and a lot of those people who are tagging me in it are probably disappointed that i'm at finney's mega chippies i've got very low hopes the uh fish is cooked in beef dripping there's no beer in the batter um it's wrapped old school Okay, I mean, it's, it's wrapped in like, it's not put in the middle of the thing. It's not put in the middle, it's wrapped all the way over here. So, right, and chips are on top of the fish. Mm. It's a big piece of fish. The fish isn't as bad as I thought. I think when I go to places and I think, it's gonna be dreadful in there. It normally surprises me. Not bad. One thing I don't like is the fish was already cooked, ready to go. Um, I'd rather it was cooked fresh, so I don't know how long it's been there, but it generally is all right. The batter's quite, I thought it's gonna be crispier than that. It's not very flaky. Um, right, a view time. The chips look like they might have been cooked like three hours ago. The fish isn't too bad. I don't know if I got lucky with the batch. Like it might have just a new batch might have just come up. But it's not too bad. The chips, I'm gonna give it a six. Altogether. The fish is seven, the chips are five, so six altogether. Appearance wise. It's wrapped in paper, but like they stuck it on one big side. Branding's a bit rubbish, so I'm going to give that a three. It looks shit. Completely honestly, it looks shit. So yeah, three for the appearance overall, and six for the taste. Please suggest somewhere nicer for me to try next, please. And remember, like and follow for more content.